Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trev Foreman. Today we have Dawson with us from Ooh. The Real Board Loft, actually. So we're in The Real Board Loft with Dawson, who actually works with us in The Real Board yes, Loft. Sir. And uh, so when you're in The Real Board Loft, when you're here at The Real Flagship Store and you're up in the loft and you're talking with Dawson, you'll see these clips and you'll be like, this guy knows surfboards. <laughs> He knows what he's actually talking I know, about. I know a little bit. So, all right, Dawson, let's talk about this board first before we jump into it. Uh, this is the Dark Twin from IPA, and it is made in Surftex dual core EPS epoxy build technology. So, uh, that's going to make a board that is light and strong and springy uh, and have a lot of good feel to it and also a lot of good. Uh, not only durability to it, like, you know, short term during the day, but a lot of durability to it, like longer term, as far as like keeping the flex and keeping the pop in the board. Uh, let's start off uh, with the easy ones. Let's talk about your dimensions and then uh, the board dimensions. What's your height and weight? Yeah, I'm 5'8", about 155 to 160, just kind of depends how All much right. I'm eating. But uh, this board is a 5'6", by 19 3 eighths, 2 and 5 eighths by 28 meters. All right, and uh, what were the conditions that you surfed this board in? Like, let's talk smallest conditions first. I think the smallest was one day out back and might have been like knee to maybe waist high. Okay. And I, like the first time I jumped on it, I was kind of not sure about the fin setup. I'm pretty old school. I kind of just thrust her, that's it. You know, I didn't really try anything new, but this thing's insane, man. Jumped on it and it just goes, it's my new favorite board. So recommended fin set on this board. Uh, and this is how we've got it set up right now. NVS, IPA, Ahi, Twin Plus Trailer. Uh, Duke says you could ride this thing either Twin Plus Trailer. You could also ride it with just these twins by themselves. And uh, these fins as well are in the Apex construction. Apex means that they're G10 construction, uh, which allows NVS to make the fins thinner. So thinner is less drag, so thinner equals faster, uh, but also at a higher durability than standard fins. So it's a, it's a much more advanced technology than your standard build tech on fins, uh, faster fins, and then also with this twin, uh, being able to generate more speed in, in that smaller surf. I mean, when we look at these clips, uh like the summertime clips like the little dribble ones yes uh i could barely get going on a longboard and mm -hmm. that stuff it was absolutely tiny and you're just like flying down mm -hmm. the line um like how does this thing feel like in that in that small stuff i mean it's insane when, once you get once you get up on the, onto your feet it just wants to take off it's almost like a dirt bike you know it just has that hits that power band just wants to go right you know, just down the line you know just super fast super responsive yeah i love this board paddles in the way is insane yeah. And what about, uh, you, you've always got like boards that go fast versus boards that turn. Yes. Like, so it, obviously it's got the speed, right? It's yeah, got the ability yeah. to make speed and, and go super fast, but sometimes those boards can be like down the line boards and not vertical. Exactly. Um, how does this thing feel as far as like going vertical and like, and just getting it, really loose in the pocket? It's got a real good release off the bottom. You know, once it gets to the lip, it, the fins want to give out, you know, the control's insane. The bottom turn, you just get speed off the bottom with it. it yeah, it's just... I love this thing. It's insane. Nice, man. Nice. And then now let's talk about uh, building surf. You know, we had a lot of those smaller days uh, in the, you know, kind of midsummer, yeah. like kind of midsummer mm -hmm. doldrums. But now uh, we are more like into tropical, kind of tropical hurricane yeah, season yeah. where the storms like swing out like wide, For hopefully, sure. yeah, yeah. of us yeah. and just give us the waves, but no bad weather. Now we've got some more size. Let's talk about this thing in, in size and what it feels like. Yeah, I rode it probably in a foot overhead day, really clean day. I mean, it's just, like I said, it just holds off the bottom and you can still, it gets barreled. It just felt really good off, off the lip, you know, just wants to go down the line. But still like a board that's going in like Shenhai is still going in overhead. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I think maybe it's the fins for that. Cause you have those bigger fins. Yeah. It just holds insane. All right. Yeah. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is, uh, like the feel of this board versus a PU poly, right? Like you've been riding a lot of a lot of standard PU poly boards oh, yeah. um, yeah. this summer, like with the AJWs mm -hmm. and the Pizels. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about like the feel of the dual core uh, versus uh, like a standard PU poly. Yeah. Like what, what's the difference? So obviously this one's going to be way lighter. Um, yeah, poly is obviously heavier. Okay. That too. Um, but this thing, it just feels like it has more spring than a poly. Okay. So like not having a stringer 
down the center and like locking the thing exactly. in. Like you, I think are you feeling like more load up exactly. and spring back? Exactly, that's some spring to it for okay. sure. Yeah, even in the smaller waves. And once it gets in the bigger waves, I think it does it even more. Okay. So. And then the, the last thing I want to touch on is the, like the durability, you know, mm -hmm. like the durability and the, uh, the longevity, like yeah. of that performance. Yeah, you know? yeah. So let's talk about like just the durability. I think, you know, somebody that surfs as often as you, yeah. And as hard exactly. as you, I mean, you get a, you surf every day, yeah, and, and you get a lot of waves every time you surf, you know. Yes. And so I would assume, like in standard poly, like you go through boards. Oh, for sure. Yes. Over time, yes, you know. For sure. What about this thing? Like, how is the deck? You know, how many sessions do you have on this thing so far? I mean, I've you probably surfed this thing probably thirty times, thirty sessions. Okay. And I mean, like like you say, I beat my boards up. I'm falling on them, hitting them, and it's pretty mellow. I mean, there's not much ding dents in it or anything really. Okay. So yeah, I think it's held up real nice. I mean, yeah, like looking at the deck, like it's not bad. Yeah, you got your standard like front deck impressions, but not like no, giant no, like caves, nothing crazy, you know. But like, so you got like the benefit of having like a little bit of extra like grip, exactly, from that. But like, not like so far that like it's starting to like no, mess yeah. with the integrity so I'd hit of the that board. Thing a bunch, and I'm still in one piece. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And then what about, uh, what would you say about like accessibility of this board? Like you're at, at a high level of surfing, like how far down the ability range would you recommend? Obviously you'd recommend it to somebody your ability because yeah, yeah. you've been loving it. But what about uh, like, you know, lower ability levels? Like what, what would you say for those surfers? I would say, I mean, I think you can go down. I think a lot, anyone can really ride it. I mean, I don't think it's any like... No, there's nothing like hard or no, like no, kind of finicky I, about riding No, it. I think it would be perfect for someone not as good as me, obviously. But, um, I think it'd be perfect. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, having that speed from the twin fin. Yep. Yep. You and know, release. like as you go, as you go lower in ability, like the ability to generate speed. Yeah. Yeah. Is always sure. like I think number one. Um, it has its hold, even with that little back fin. It wants the release, and then that little fin just kind of engages, and it right. feels insane. Awesome. Well, hey, Mark, thank you so much for joining us. If uh, if you any of you out there ever here at Real, hopefully you run into Dawson in the in the board loft, and um, he can get you set up with a board. If anybody out there has any questions about the IPA Dark Twin in SurfTech's dual core EPS epoxy technology or would like to purchase one, you could always give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000, or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.